Hello Tube, this is Alexander again. Today I have this uh, Dell power supply coming from an office who thrown lots of computers and as you can see I uh, tried to dismount it uh, gently but it was impossible because it has no screw, uh, no latches and uh, I use a cutting plier to open it. So this device is on my desk now, I, am, I want to, to see why it doesn't work. So actually you can see none less three IC which uh, indicates that this power supply is uh, pretty so sophisticated and uh, as you can see here you can uh, you can see two uh, optocouplers and uh, I have done some measurement on it already and I, f I have found some uh, strange uh, values about it so I'm curious to see if uh, they are faulty and um, first for to generate this, this kind of uh, issue I need to make some measurement on this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, optocouplers you can see it very closely now this is a, a very common type of, uh, of the optocouplers so first I want to try to repair this uh, artesian power supply this is a two, two, tw uh, 12 volts 2 amps power supply that's it's a uh, very very nice made uh, clear to see a sparse component very easy to diagnose and uh, as you can see there is uh, actually an optocoupler on it and uh, i need to repair this uh, power supply for to make some measurements on it for to try to understand what happened in my Dell power supply so what I want to tell now is you can see here the capacitors which seems to be uh, nice and not uh, bulge, bulged so I am think the issue don't uh, don't come from this so first I'm going to to measure the voltage of the main capacitors which is pretty nice actually we have just a little loss because I use a galvanic protection uh, and so uh, the capacitor seems to be nice this is not a reason but you don't trust a good capacitor sometimes it have a good shape it has a good shape and this is not really the case so you can see here they are connected in parallel and uh, they form one capacitor in total so when you measure one capacitor you will measure the both capacitors in the same time so you will see here there is no voltage on it and uh, that it seems to have uh, some uh, short circuit actually so my doubt is about this uh, shot key diodes uh, because shot, shot key diodes are here sometimes for to protect the circuit and in this case this uh, shot key diode is, is, is purely in parallel with the capacitors so I need to dismount one leg for to take serious measurement so here you can see a real shot so th this is uh, the, the, the reason why maybe this uh, device didn't work actually so now the lead of the shot key diode is removed let's see uh, if we can see a measure actually this kind of wire are used to make um, feedback control because they are uh, currently uh, connected to the plug of this uh, power supply and they uh, help the power supply to regulate the voltage despite the length of the cord actually and if the plug is uh, still connected and you di disconnect it you will have a pico height voltage and this height voltage is responsible for the destroying for destroying the the diodes actually this is how this diode is made is made for to prevent any peak of voltage and and the peak destroy it destroy it so you can see here it uh, it display 12 volts which is uh, nice for the moment so we can see some measure on the optocouplers and you can see on the uh, low voltage side there is on one volt and the other side of, 
high voltage you will have 2.3 volts let's see on the Dell power supply to see about uh, our chip and I use this uh, adhesive to angle it so you can see it's work it's uh, switch on but uh, shortly after that it uh, it begins to plummet until there is you will found zero volt on uh, on output but uh, this LED is uh, switch off now I don't know exactly at first glance what can be this kind of uh, issue actually so you will have uh, here a nice voltage on the main capacitors and uh, I have a doubt, a serious doubt about this optocouplers because I have already made some measurement on it and the the optocouplers on uh, from the bottom of this PCB uh, have a very uh, strange uh, measurement uh, on it actually this value is uh, quite strange it's weird because I don't really understand why what this 10 volts means and uh, on the other side you will have found a uh, lower value actually so uh, logically you will found a 1 volt here which is not the case so I, I really, uh, I'm really wondering whether this kind of uh, uh, regulation is able to do here. Uh, so let's dismount this one for to um, to swap with another one actually, and uh, I will found another uh, another optocoupler on a little power supply on cheap power supply, but they are pretty the same. As you can see here, they are from the same manufacturer, I guess, because they have the same values, the same shape, the same size, and I think it will uh, give a, a nice job for to, for to diagnose something about this. So here we are trying to put this optocoupler in place which is uh, more easy to do than to uh, more easy to say than to do a little bit of uh, soldering wire and uh, let's see if it works first let's see if uh, we have a different voltage now this is not the case the voltage is always, is always the same and the other side on the low voltage section we we'll have we will have no voltage always no voltage this is hard to understand how it works actually so on the output you will found nothing nearly nothing it doesn't work so it doesn't work what I'm going to do here is to send a voltage on the output for to simulate a presence of the voltage and uh, see how uh, the PCB will react. I will. I hope to find something heating up, and this is the case. This uh, circuit is very hot now. I think maybe it's faulty actually. So uh, this uh, little IC is uh, in fact a DC-DC converter, which uh, is uh, used to regulate voltage. As you can see here, this is the M. 103A1. He it's uh, currently working with another IC. We will see it further. So here we have uh, a special uh, integrated circuit which use for uh, for correcting the power factor, and this IC. Uh, take care about the signals and it use a coil as you can see here with a little capacitance and another coil for to have an active uh, power factor corrector before to send it to another circuit which is uh, in the middle this circuit is uh, commonly used with the first one it's uh, the LTR201P which is a two B PWVM um, modulation circuit. Uh, this is, um, I think, normally you will find it on symmetrical application, but uh, I don't see another uh, winding on this transformer. 
so this one is working with uh, DC DC converter mode from this uh, MOSFET which you will see here you can see here and also you can see here uh, I, th I thought for at first glance it was a programmable Zara diode but actually it's not this is a, a neprom actually uh, in a, a programmable EPROM and this EPROM is um, a component uh, Dell use currently this kind of component for to communicate with the computer if the computer doesn't recognize the charger it doesn't connect to the charger actually you can see a very thin pin on this uh, plug and uh, in fact this is the pin used by this EPROM to communicate with the laptop if this is not the good charger, the laptop will never connect to this uh, power supply. So I'm going to dismount this uh, IC because I think it's uh, faulty and uh, I'm trying to find another one for to swap it with uh, another IC for to see if it's able to work. So before this, I'm just going to test some continuity before uh, between some track because I'm not sure about the integrity of some uh, copper track here. So before to uh, to, uh, to to go to the extra mile, I prefer to make uh, some very simple measurement. And uh, apparently nothing is bad here. All tracks seems to be okay. And I think I can again swap this uh, integrated circuit. Fortunately, I have this uh, same circuit on a meteorology card. It was a power supply, also. And uh, I'm I will just clean it now for to permit a good soldering. I'm not I'm not working under a microscope here because I prefer to have, if it's possible, a nice uh, image quality with a, a camcorder. That is, this is the reason I'm I don't really use a, a, a microscope. So as you can see, the LED is working now after switching on this power supply, and uh, it doesn't plummet uh, anymore. Maybe we have uh, a constant voltage on the output. Let's make some measurement actually, and uh, yes, it have the, a very nice. Uh, so here we are going to see if the voltage is about one volt, and this is the case. And on the other side, this is the high voltage side. We have more than fifty volts. We have eighty volts, and uh, from the bottom we have something a little bit higher. I don't remember exactly what we had in the past, but always in the photodiode we have still nothing. We have still nothing. I don't know what is the purpose of this optocoupler on the bottom. So let's make a little measurement again before to test this power supply. Yes, it's work nice. So I'm just I just want to connect it to the electronic load for to improve something about it and look what happened there is no voltage anymore I guess there is a little tired capacitors actually so I'm just going to help them with uh, uh, another capacitor an external capacitor for to see if it uh, helps the power supply to to handle and maximum voltage uh, despite the load of it so this is uh, nice I think I'm just going to increase the the amps and uh, nearly at full tilt at full tilt we have uh, a stable output so here at absolutely at full tilt we have uh, four, more than four amp we have still nothing on the uh, optocoupler from the bottom still nothing so about the little artisan power supply which provides uh, two amps it's work nice also so for to explain what happened to this one it was very easy to understand then uh, in fact it has just shorted 
xanadiode uh, uh, on the output and uh, it's uh, avoid some voltage to go out from this uh, n very nice regulated power supply. I love this kind of power supply because it's uh, very nicely made. This power supply is very sophisticated. It have nonetheless about three level of uh, of regulation and uh, it's very good engineering actually. This is uh, just the part which was uh, defect actually and uh, it was very easy to change to swap this uh, component for to make it um, more uh, more workable again and uh, of course this uh, capacitor despite the fact they have a very nice visual inspection are a little bit tired because I need actually to put another capacitors for to help them to uh, to handle uh, uh, a good voltage. This is a, a very nice med despite uh, this uh, enclosure which was very uh, hard to open and we have uh, a good value about voltage and a good value about amp, uh, amps. So uh, this is all for today. I hope uh, you uh, understand my purpose in this uh, video. Try to understand how a regulation makes. And uh, if you put a scope on your photodiodes uh, on the low voltage side, you will see just uh, a continue voltage, uh, just a continue voltage. At full tilt, you will have always the same voltage on the photodiodes on entry. So, it was Alexander again. I hope you like this video. Until you see you soon.